running away from the pressure. Is, is that something that he's emphasized throughout camp or, or is yeah. that something? Yeah, um, it's something that he's been emphasizing and just kind of it's part of his game plan and it's up to us to execute what he's you know asking us for asking us to do. So yeah, it's it's us for uh, to contain um, wherever the pressure is coming from. That's you know the other side got to be uh, disciplined enough to execute the game plan. What were some keys from the tape, good and bad, that you took from it that you can apply moving forward? Um, there's a lot of things that you know we can um, control. Uh, a lot of mistakes that we've made um, that is um, easy to fix. So. Um, Moving forward, just making those adjustments and stuff, just kind of you know keeping the edges sound and um, being able to be fundamentally sound in terms of playing up front. Coach, I worry y'all that the coach said, you know, y'all didn't practice, y'all got first game together, doing it for the first time, but um, so where are y'all at uh, with you know, everything coming together on the defensive side of the ball? Uh, I feel like we're in a great spot right now. We're just you know, uh, obviously we need to execute what Coach Pease has for us uh, week to week. And so he puts the game plan together. And as, for us as players, got to go out there and just ex execute what he has for us. So um, just being out there um, and being uh, trusting into his game plan. What level of adjustment was it for you to have to drop in the coverage more, to have to learn that? Right. Um, it was an adjustment, but it's something that, you know, they believe that I was able to do. So uh, if obviously, if they have trust in that I can do it, I have to trust in myself that I can do it. So um, doing whatever it took uh, during the off season, kind of you know putting in more dropping stuff uh, into my workouts and stuff. So it was it, it was an adjustment, but you know it's something that you know they're asking me to do. So I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Had you ever done it before, like at any level? Uh, last year it was like a it wasn't a it was just a kind of weird type of. Dropping. It was like a like drop to this spot, drop to that spot. But this year it's more of a like, yeah, you're gonna drop. You, you got to know your coverages, know everything. So, yeah. Well, I mean, even back in college. Like nope. In high school, I was a uh, I was a defensive tackle, so I was like 280 when I first came in, 285, 287. So I was big, three tech, base end, um, everything like that. So it was just, you know, coming in, I was just a bigger body. I was a three tech. So. It's funny to say, but, you know, if they're asking, like, if they ask me to do something, you know, obviously I want to help the team win. So I want to – I'm just going to drop. So. How do you go about teaching yourself that? I mean, like, what do you do? Walk me through that. Uh, teaching myself what? How to drop. How to, oh. How to, because, like you said, you're a three – you know, six years yeah. ago, you're a 280-pound right. three technique. Now yeah. you're clearly not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just, you know, kind of getting with the coaches, getting with, you know, Players like Foyer, uh, you know, guys that have been there before, um, Debo and all that, just kind of getting with them outside of the facility and just kind of spending extra time uh, with my, you know, my teammates and with my coaches of, you know, oh, how do you do this when you, when you have to drop that? Or how do you do that? So it's kind of emulating what guys have done it before, just kind of, you know, kind of emulating their pattern and everything and just kind of watching film as well on guys that are uh, – Doing it technically sound. So, in terms of losing weight, is that difficult for you? Some guys, it's, it's hard to gain, and some guys, it's hard to lose. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's kind of weird. It was like unintentional to lo for me to lose weight because I was, you know, practice squad. So, you know, I was just running around everywhere. And me as a player, I'm all effort. So I'm just like running around and just not I'm stopping until the whistle's blown, and it just kind of, just kind of, just decreased like my weight. Then you know they noticed that you know I was already outside and just kind of. Yeah, like you could play in actually. It was just like, all right, let's see how it goes. So, yeah, it was it was it was a it was a it was a journey. So, <laughs> you had the one sack and hit. Uh, where are you all at with you know bringing on the pass rush and uh, so forth? Obviously, week to week, you want to you know affect the QB as much as you can. So, um, uh, our guys, you know, the D line and outside linebacker are working together to you know affect the QB and. Um, we are planning to, you know, execute the game plan this week. So that's part of the plan. Besides, you know, Foyer and Dion, were there places you went outside of the Falcons to learn? Learn? Yeah. To, like, uh, to, to learn how to, to, learn 
like the coverage. Um, yeah, there was like my workouts uh, out at DSA, and um, just you know, out in Marietta, there's um, a lady. Her name's Lily. She trains a lot of people here. So I trained with her, and just kind of, you know, it was this off season where I really took into terms of like drills that help with my footwork, you know, dropping into coverage and everything. So. So when did they? I mean, when did they first approach you? Was this during OTAs? Was this like when they that first meeting when you talked to them? You said, "Hey, this is how we envision you." Like, this was like when they, uh, you know, signed me. Obviously, I just kind of came in the building, signed my papers. Like, we envision you doing this. We envision you doing that. So obviously, they planted it in the back of my mind, and just kind of had me, you know, thinking about it and just kind of preparing for it. So. And that's, so that's when you go to Lily. Yeah, so I was, well, I was already training with her at the right. same time. But then um, at the end of last season, I kind of, I didn't, like, know, but I was just kind of preparing myself, like, oh, maybe you should incorporate, since you're an end, all outside linebackers, they, some of them even drop, like, some of them drop. So kind of just like, you know what, let me just incorporate some dropping uh, drills and kind of footwork drills to help me in coverage. So, and then when they told me, I was like, all right, I'm already settled with uh, the drills that's happening at DSA and stuff, so. Do you like what you're doing? I do, I do love it. I love it, you know, it's something that, you know, I've grown to love, and it's something that, you know, I think I'm a big team guy, so it's if it helps my team win, then obviously, you know, it makes me love it even more, so. <laughs> you had a mobile quarterback last week, Tom Brady, less mobile but smart, gets the ball out yeah. quick. Different challenge? Um, great quarterback, Tom Brady. Everyone knows Tom Brady, so he's a great quarterback, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna be able to you know um, be out there and make some plays. But you know, at the same time, we can only control what you know we can on our side of the ball. Um, so, uh, Pastor's point of why there's Pastor's plan. You know, the run game, the pass game. He's gonna be back there. So uh, it's our it's up to us to you know try our best to you know affect the quarterback, affect him, Tom Brady. In the uh, in like the games and stuff, it, yeah. or like in practice. In practice and then in games. Like uh, <laughs> it was just weird. Like it was it was just weird. Just kind of like being back there is just kind of space and it's just like, oh man, like your your eyes are going everywhere and you're just kind of focused on, you know, it's something it's totally different, you know. But uh, as soon as I got you know first couple of reps in, kind of just settled down and you know, thankfully the coaches were like, you know, they felt comfortable with me dropping into coverage. So. <clears throat> Into giant right. offensive line, then, like, mm -hmm. and you're not doing that. Right. Like, how much of that is mental fixing that versus anything else? Um, it, yeah, it was it, to think of it, it's a big mental game. Like, it's a big mental game when it comes to you know dropping into coverage because you know, like you said, I'm so fo uh, so used to going forward, and now it's just more of a you know, now you have to play both sides, you got to go forward and go back. So, uh you have to put in the mental game aspect into it when you get dropped into coverage, being mental, uh, disciplined with your eyes um, and stuff. So, everyone, like I said, like my teammates, uh, you know, when when stuff is when I'm in my head, I always go to my teammates. I always go to, you know, Foyer. I always go to, you know, Dion, Eric, uh, you know. But they're always willing to help because they know, you know, I'm significantly new to the position. So they're always willing to help. And that's why I'm so thankful for them because, you know, I'm hard on myself when it comes to, you know, being a perfectionist. Like, I want to be, I want to be this, I want to do that. So when it comes to that, it's always great to, you know, go to my teammates and stuff. So, no, thank you.